if you are working in adobe premiere pro i am 100 percent sure that you have seen this red display which says media offline why this happened and how you can solve that let's learn it today hey guys this is james and welcome to another adobe premiere pro tutorial this is a free adobe premiere pro course and here in this course i teach you the basics of adobe premiere pro so first let's learn why this happens so this is a project and if i open the project folder if i click any of this clip and if i click reveal in explorer then this folder will appear right and from here you can see there is a project file and there are two different b-roll and there is a a-roll and here is a music right so here you can see this footage is this one right if i play back this one is that exact footage if i delete this footage what happened premiere pro will reload and it will say the file is missing sometimes maybe you have moved the files on a different directory sometimes you delete the files from your hard drive right for that kind of scenario this happens suppose uh, if you move the file in a different directory i'm just undoing this and i'm just moving this file here on the desktop right so if you move the file then you will get the media offline window right so i'm just clicking offline for this instance now if you want to relink the file if that video file or audio file is present on your computer then you can relink the file how you can relink the file you can go to here on the timeline then you can right click here and then you can click reveal in project then it will reveal the file here on your project panel from the project panel you have to right click here on the file and then you have to click link media if you click here then this window will appear and from here you have to relink the file so here it says the default directory of this file is there but we have moved the file on desktop so let's relink here you can click here on locate then this panel will appear and from here you have to navigate to your desktop so here is desktop now you can just click search then premiere pro automatically search the file then you can click ok then premiere pro will relink the file so when you are working on a premiere pro project make sure the directory of the file is exactly same when you have made the project otherwise you have to relink the file to start working on your project so that is all for today i hope you have got the point how you can relink the file in adobe premiere pro if you like the video and if you have learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye